Hey everyone, it's Friday the 13th of September and it's 6 o'clock in the evening and today I've got a little diecast haul to uh, take a look at. <clears throat> now, I didn't get these off Marketplace, I didn't get them from the diecast guy either or a charity shop or a car boot sale. I actually got them through a Facebook auction on one of the diecast groups I'm on. So just like with most of my hobbies and interests I've joined you know, related Facebook groups for them. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually on quite a few die, uh, die cast related groups. Um, some are just for Matchbox models, some are just for Corgi, etc. You know, they are brand specific. There's a few that are just, well, if it's a die cast model, you can post it. <laughs> um, and there's some, you know, specifically for selling whatever die cast you've got. Um, yeah, anyway, someone, I believe, he used the at everyone tag, which normally bugs the crap out of me. Um, only because there's a few pages and groups I were on that did it every day. The same person. It wasn't for anything interesting or anything important. It was just for the sake of getting the group members to see it. You know, a bit of traffic. That's the only reason they were doing it. So that really, it was starting to do my nutting. In fact, I believe I left most of the groups that were doing that and unfollowed the pages because that, that's, you no, know, I was doing my crust in. So when it's something like this of interest or potential interest to a lot of people, then yeah, feel free to use the at everyone tag. Or if it's an, some important information, like the admin needs to get some important information to the members. Anyway. So, yeah, he tagged me that I found the auction, so I thought I'd have a little browse. And for the first couple of days of this Facebook auction, I didn't make any bids. I just kept going back and viewing. And I eventually thought, you know, why not? I'll start sticking some bids in on the stuff I like and just see how things go. And I do believe I won everything I bid on, apart from one car. <laughs> I do believe I just lost one car. Um, yeah. So I'm not worried about that. I'm still very happy with what I've got. Now, um, I've got a handful of Matchbox cars, a handful of Majorettes. Um, the Majorettes I didn't actually get through the auction sale he was running. He put up a post um, just trying to sell some random crap, basically. <laughs> really cheap so I agreed to have some of those you know put in my box as they call it start a box with a lot of these sellers um, but I bought a large number of um, green light in fact most of these are green light there's one Johnny Lightning and one something else which I'll have a look at when we uh, take a look at it now I've been wanting green light for a while you know several years ago now I came across a YouTube channel called WTF4 um, and he's a very keen Hot Wheels collector but he also likes a few other brands he's got um, green light Johnny Lightning and whatnot and some Matchbox um, but yeah he's primarily a Hot Wheels collector and I'm not kidding, his basement is bigger than my flat, the whole floor area of my flat. If we didn't have any walls, so we've got the whole floor area, it's bigger than this. He's got a huge basement. So jealous. <laughs> I wish I had that much space. Anyway, most of the walls are actually, from floor to ceiling, displaying Hot Wheels. Um, but yeah, watching his videos and, you know, seeing the... Johnny Lightning stuff and the green light stuff, I thought that looks really good quality stuff. Quite expensive, even in dollars, but I thought well, that does look good stuff. Um, but I've never seen it over here. Just because I've not seen it over here doesn't mean it doesn't exist over here, of course. This means in my part of the UK, I've just never seen it. So I don't really know if this stuff is sold over here. 
I'm guessing it must be as we've got a load here, you know, unless it's stuff he picked up going on a trip to the States or something. No idea. Anywho. What have I got? Eight. Thirteen. Damn it. I'm looking at thirteen of these cars on Friday the 13th. <laughs> that was not planned. I did not know until I now counted them up that I had thirteen of these vehicles. <laughs> I couldn't do that again if I tried, could I? <laughs> anyway. Um, they weren't that cheap either, over here. I mean, some of these, some started at £5 in the bidding and some started at 6 Um Yeah, before we actually look at these, just in case there's anybody out there wondering, you know, how on earth a Facebook auction works, I, thought, I think I'll just give a quick explanation on it. So, the seller would obviously photograph everything they want to sell, make one large post, because it saves spamming the selling groups, that's how a lot of selling groups want you to do it. If you've got multiple items to sell, just make one big post. Um, but on each photo, they will put the start bid, what they want the bidding to start at, um, as well as the increments um, to which each bid has to increase by. They can put whatever they like, basically. It might be 10 pence, 5 pence, 20 pence, 25 pence, whatever. Um, and obviously, on the main part of the post, I'll put the, um, the run time, the duration of the auction. Usually, it seems 7 days, just like on eBay. The common one on eBay is 7 days, isn't it? Um, so, you know, say they start the auction at 8 o'clock, on a Saturday evening, it would run until 8 o'clock the following Saturday evening. And, you know, if, if for example, I found a model I liked and I put the start bid in of £2, um, and then someone else comes along and sees it and thinks, yeah, I like that as well, then they would have to, if the increments is 25 pence, then they would put £2.25 in the next comment. And if I see that and think, yeah, I'm willing to go higher, I would put £2.50 and so on. You just go up like that. Until the auction end, or until one person, well, yeah, until the auction ends, but sometimes, um, you know, people will back out because they're not willing to go any higher. <clears throat> but I actually felt quite lucky because I did, I was the only bidder on a lot of these. Apart from the one that I did get out bid on, but I left it because I'd already bid on another one which I was winning, so I thought, you know what, and he's got, he had a couple of those very same cars actually in the auction, so I thought, yeah, there's no point out bidding, I'll just let that one slip, <laughs> let that one go. So, I'm excited to show these green lights, I love them, I can't stop looking at them, <laughs> the, the, the detail is so great on them, it's like looking at an Oxford diecast model for your model railway, um, stuff and whatnot. Right, let's have a look at the matchbox first, and then I'll get the majorettes done. And then we have a look at what I, well actually apart from a couple of these matchboxes, you know, the rest of it is um, what, I, what I'm considering the best. Anywho, I can't remember if this car was actually the auction, if I got this off of the uh, um, clearance post he put up, but here we go. It's a little Ford Police Interceptor in a Fire Chief get-up. So you've got the nudge bar on there. I'm pretty certain the Fire Chief wouldn't have the nudge bars. I don't think. From what I've seen, it's more common for the Chiefs to actually have like a 4x4 of some sort. Like a pickup truck or something like that. I just suppose in a city a car would be um, a bit more practical. I don't know. You know, just out of all the fast service videos I've watched on YouTube over the years, this seems like an SUV is the more popular choice. And we've got this uh, newer matchbox, much, much newer. I think it's actually newer than the other one, possibly. Opel Cadet Coupe. Wrong there. 
But my favourites at the Matchbox, now these were part of the uh, auction, are the three Ford Escort RS2000s that I picked up. I'm going to start with the worst of the three. Which in fair, the door stickers are a bit shite on it, but the rest of it is okay. You've got the light blue one, the baby blue one. I think that's what Ford used to call this shade of blue. The door stickers aren't brilliant, but the roof and hood stickers aren't too bad. Um, but this was the cheapest of the three. And actually, the other two escorts, the start bid was a lot more than the green lights. Well, actually, for the most part, about four pounds more. So, I bought the white one, because this is mint. Um, and in fairness, some of his photos didn't do the models justice. It actually looked a bit worse. Yeah, I do believe I was the only bidder on this one for £10. Youch. £10 for that. Just think, all them years ago, this was just 99p or even 50p. I can't remember what they were in the 1980s now. But the stickers are mint still. I mean, I have got a few rough versions of this. But this is mint. I just wanted a mint one. And the same with this one. I've got the green one. Someone else did put a bid in and then I put another bid in <laughs> and won it. So I think this one actually cost me about £12 in total. I don't know what's rarer and what isn't as rare. Well, the white one's definitely not that rare because I see them all over the place in various conditions. Green one and the blue one, not so much. I really do like that green one. That is a lovely little car. Uh, one more matchbox. This one was in the uh, his clearance post. Just a little GWR from matchbox. A little pannier. I'm sure this is actually a darker green than the other one. I could be wrong, but I'm sure it is. I've got a little bit of a, a thing for these little locos now from matchbox. And the steam ones. And the, and the steam ones. The red steam one. Um, oh, and the yellow diesel. I did he? Yellow diesel in a few variations as well. I think I did a green steamer. That's a steamer, but that's a pannier tank. But I did one that wasn't a pannier tank as well, is what I'm trying to say. Right. So I think we've got, what, half a dozen Major X here. So we've got the uh, TV service van, service and satellite, which is a Renault Express. In fact, many years ago, the boss I was working for at the time actually had one of these. The Spark I used to work for. And a white one. Hadn't long had a new clutch fitted when um, I started working with him. We've got the Citroen Ambulance. Like I said, these were all going really cheap. That's why I bought them, so they're not in very good condition. And that one isn't anyway. It's missing the flags off the front. It's meant to have two flags. I have got one with flags, but the daft thing is the paint works better on that one and it's missing the flags. Right, what's next? This isn't in too bad shape for an old majorette. It's a little Honda Accord. I think it was this one that was also badged at one point as a triumph for claim. I think. <clears throat> I know there's one Honda that was badged as a triumph for claim, but I just can't remember what one it was. Anyway, we've got a fair Ford Sierra there. Fair is in fair condition. It's not brilliant, but certainly not the worst. the uh, Renault lorry here with the trailer. I think I actually had to buy the trailer separately. <laughs> like I said, it was all going cheap. So I thought, well, I want the truck. So I might as well have the trailer to go with it. I mean, it sounds ridiculous to sell the trailer separately, but sometimes the coll a collector may just need the trailer to complete what they've got. So, or the truck to complete, because they might have the trailer. 
what's the last one? Oh yeah. What's Citroen Diane? Apparently it's meant to have an umbrella on there. And I did check, because if you look, the front wheels and rear wheels are actually different. So I did a bit of a googling and apparently that's how these came. There's obviously Major has done these in various different colours and whatnot. But yeah, apparently the, the wheels were different. I don't know why. Oh, pardon me. Anywho. My favourites. The green light and the one Johnny Lightning. <laughs> Oh, there's one here. I'm not sure what it is. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the police cars last because there's six of those. So we'll do everything else. I can't remember what some of these are. And these bases, that's one thing I don't like about these. The bases aren't very easy to read. We've got this, which I think might be a galaxy. Looking at the tail lights. That's a lovely looking model. Can't wait to get these on display somewhere. We've got another 60s sedan. I'm pretty certain, looking at those tail lights and headlights, that's an Impala. Don't tell me they've actually got something written on the nose of this. <laughs> yeah, it's actually got Chevrolet written on it. Bloody hell. There is no way. I. I now that just looks like black dots to my naked eye across the front of that. Are you going to focus? I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But yeah, there's a little Chevy Impala with red wheels and the chrome centre caps. I don't know what it is, but I really love chrome centre caps. Next up, got the uh, good old checker cab. bit of motoring history right there, that's why I couldn't resist it. I have got a couple in the collection but they're the pullback toys. I do apologise for the white there. I've tried closing curtains and things and they're still leaking through. Driving me nuts. I can't remember what this one is. Well, I'm just going to have a look on the nose just to see if there's a Believe it or not, there is something written on the uh, hood. But balls, if I can actually read it, even under this, I would need to get my microscope out to read that. There's nothing in the rear, is there? No, but anyway, yeah, I had a bit of a thing for wagons when I was looking through it, so I bought a few wagons. That's the first one of the three. I just like the gold and white colour of that with the uh, chrome trim. I just thought that was quite a nice looking car. I wish we still had cars, you know, that used that styling these days. Not necessarily looked like these old cars, but you know, had the chrome trim and things on. To try and make them unique, because so many modern cars just look the same to me. I think that's why I just don't like them so much. There's nothing interesting about them. You know, they all provide the same tricks and technology and things and so much of it comes as standard now. You know, you don't really get like the the low end version of the car, you know, where you had keep fit windows rather than electric, you know, where the electric windows were an option. Or you already got the electric windows on the next model up, you know. I don't seem to do that now though. That seems to, everything just seems to be standard. Anywho, what three more non-police cars. Uh, so we've got this wagon, uh, which isn't a green light. This has actually got cast line ink on it, 2018. 1957 Chevy wagon, used under license. Um, Coca-Cola graphics, copyright the Coca-Cola company. I think the hood is meant to open on this one. It seems to be locked down with those two pins. I don't want to force it. I did get the hood to move a little while ago when I was fiddling with it and I thought, no, I'm not going to force it because I'm going to break something. But there's another one with the, uh, the red rims and uh, chrome centre caps. 
actually just quickly going off the subject a little bit here. One of my favourite games to play is My Garage, and someone has just released a mod for that game of a uh, 1970 Dodge Coroner. And that's got the American wheels that I love. You know, from when I saw my first American action movie, if you like, I think it was something like Smoking the Bandit or something like that, or Convoy. You know, and the police cars and a lot of American cars and wagons in general, they always had that black rim with the chrome centre cap on it. I've always loved that look. It's such a simple and relatively boring thing to do, but to me, to my eyes, it looks good. I like it. Anywho, let's have a look at the uh, third and final wagon, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, one of these, that yellow one's not the Nomad, so it's this one is the uh, Nomad. I've sort of gone the other way with these wheels, haven't I? They've got chrome steel wheels with a red centre, which also looks good to me. I think I might garage game could do with an American wagon. We haven't got one. And then we've got this uh, Dodge Diplomat. See, I always like... American movies from the 80s because I always like looking at these style of cars as well. The big old box square American sedan. <laughs> Look at the detail on the taillights on it though. You don't often see that from like Hot Wheels or Matchbox because well, they're primarily aimed as a toy aren't they? I believe like green light and whatnot is aimed at more of the uh, collector scene, you know, they're aimed at collectors. So they've gone into a lot more detail. I mean, even the, around the doors you've got the chrome trim, around the windscreen, and the headlights, the grill, the bumpers. And I think this one's actually got rubber tyres. Also today, when this arrived, <clears throat> I sort of got to thinking, you know, about prices in any hobby. You know, I mean, I paid like five to six pounds for most of these green lights, which to a lot of people, for what would be in their mind is just a toy, would be a lot of money. You know, I mean, even 12 quid for that to a lot of people would seem like a hell of a lot of money but to a collector someone that's interested in that someone that is aware of its value and whatnot that seems like a fair price to me and then I got to thinking that most hobbies are actually like that and you know I've come across other people who have totally different interests to me and seen the sort of money they will spend on various items for their interest and I think bloody hell I wouldn't spend that much money on it but then again I probably wouldn't because I'm not interested in it you know I'm sure I'm, it just got me thinking you know and I'm sure that most of us have actually thought that at some point I mean just look at the price of Lego even brand new Lego keeps going up and I have been worried because I'm not sure how much longer I could keep buying it, to be honest. <laughs> Anywho, let's get back to looking at these. Uh, one of these is Johnny Lightning, and I'm pretty certain the rest are all green light. Yeah, they are. So he did have like four. It was either four or five of these. I wish I'd got at least another one. Well, the guy did message me early. He's going to have another auction event in like a couple of weeks time so maybe they'll pop up on that one yeah the old uh, crown Vic. i've always loved the crown victoria especially this particular shape with those tail lights and it's nypd would the um what they call the vector v bar like it was obviously in the shape of a v 
I think they still make that actually, but they obviously use LEDs nowadays, not rotators. And then we've got this one from Johnny Lightning. Dodge Monaco. Now actually I've got another one up there, much larger version to this. And this one's actually badged as a Dodge Coroner underneath. But looking at the side view and everything, they just they look identical to me, so what is the difference? Is there a difference? I mean, look at the tire lights look. It's literally that this one's just a mini version of that one. Boston Police. Ooh, and a mirror fell off earlier, I got to glue that back on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read what's on that badge on the door. That's a sheriff. With what looked like a set of scales right in the middle of that star. But that's what it's got written on it, so I have no idea what department that came from in the US. All I can tell you is it's a sheriff. And it's got... Is that an Aerodyne light bar on the roof? I think that's what they called them. I know, um... You know, the California Highway Patrol and LAPD used to use them. Same ones with the rounded lenses. And all the rotators in them. What I loved about them is the fact that the rotators rotated in sync. And I thought that's very clever how they got that to do that, you know, how they sort of just flashed in sync like that. I just thought that was a cool effect. I used to, I've always liked lights. That's quite a common fact about me. I love lights. I used to love watching them in the movies and you know how they flashed in sync. Anywho. The last four I've got are basically all four of the same police car. But they've all got different roof lights. And these are AMC something. Some of these I couldn't actually read the base of. Because it's like it's got worn. I mean the green light. These aren't that old. These are 2019. Yeah, the green light copyright 2019 made in China. It looks like it's sort of stamped into the die-cast chassis, but everything else looks like... Yeah, I've got a hope chance of reading on that one. What about this one? I will find one that I can read, but it's an AMC something. That's all I can remember. That one's a no-go. That one's a no-go. There's a code right at the top there. You can barely read it on these. Yeah, I'm just about to make out AMC on this one, and that is it. So I have no idea. If anyone actually can remember, please let me know in the comments. So here's the first one, with well, that style of light bar on the roof. One of my favourite styles, actually. I'd love to own one of them in my collection. But the shipping from America would cost an absolute fortune. I don't like a guarantee I'll get damaged in shipping. Which is one of the other reasons that it would put me off. Right, now we've got that one with like a red and white light bar on the roof. And it's actually got red lenses in the back there as well. And I've got one that's very, very similar to that. As you can see, here's another one. If I turn it around, I've actually got yellow in the rear of this one. I actually really like these cars. I actually like the colour scheme. I don't know what the police force is. Oh, I can't get it to bloody focus on it. We'll try another. I'll try this one. That's the last one to. Yonkers? That's what it actually looks like, Yonkers. Yonkers Police. 
no freaking idea. I don't know if that's fictional. I don't know if that's an actual town or city in America. I have no idea. Someone please let me know. As you can see, that one's got the uh, twin beacons up on the roof. Which, I actually like that st um, style as well. I don't know if they're meant to be spotlights in the middle, or would they be red lights in between the beacons as well. And then we've got the siren right in the middle. Nice looking cars though. But again, look at the wheels. That's the wheels I was talking about earlier. And uh, the exact wheels that the Dodge Coronet has got on that uh, My Grand game. That's a great mod. It needs a few adjustments. I have found that out. It does need a couple of adjustments. Hopefully the uh, author of that mod will uh, address those in the future and update the mod. This is one part I couldn't take off the car. And I can't fill the radiator up with coolant. <laughs> They're pretty much only two issues. <clears throat> so uh, what do you guys think? Was this a good haul? I certainly like it. I would love to buy more green light. Especially the police cars. I don't know why. I've just got a thing for police cars. Or just emergency vehicles in general. Maybe I should have a look on eBay see what I can find. I might do that later actually. Just have a little browse on eBay. Now, I would not have bought those four police cars if they'd had all the same light bars on, I would have just bought one, maybe two, so I had just a couple in the collection, but these are all different. In fact, I didn't realise that these two were different, if I'm not really honest. I thought they both had the exact same light bar on, but they don't. I think one's got the yellow lenses in the rear and one's got the red. I don't know why I've got so many different light bars on. It's an interesting style of light bar, you know, when I've got red and, I'm assuming, white. As the lenses aren't coloured. I wouldn't have thought they would have had coloured light bulbs back then, would they, for these? I don't know. I love them. Yeah, I do regret not buying one more of those NYPD Crown Vicks, though. I knew I should have got two. I knew I'd regret not getting two. Oh, well. I don't think I've got an overall favourite out of these green lights and whatnot. I like them all. But I do actually wish I now put a bit on and some of the others that he had. I was also trying to be careful with the money as well. I didn't want to spend too much. <clears throat> didn't want to spend too much. Biggest joke of uh, the week, I think. Anyway, that is it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, plus everything else I'm interested in as well like the Lego computers all sorts of other tech and bicycles and I'm just a man of many hobbies hit that subscribe button as well that'll help you keep track on um, everything else that I'm interested in oh, and model railways um, and of course it's totally free to subscribe as well it doesn't cost you a penny and uh, I'll see you all in the next video bye